1994, Disney remade Shakespeare's classic tragedy, Hamlet, but with lions. Okay. Turned out to be a cultural phenomenon. Unbelievably successful. Decades later, in 2019, they have completely remade it, but it's not different so much as live action. Okay. The Lion King. Now, I can't lie to you. This movie has cons. Fair, fairly sizable cons. Namely, it was completely unnecessary and irrelevant. The original was perfect. I mean, it was lightning in a bottle. And this movie is just a practically a shot for shot remake. And it just was not necessary. Second, Seth Rogen as Pumbaa. Good in voice, but not in song. Because Seth Rogen can't sing. He cannot hit the notes that Ernie Sabella could. So that's, yeah, pretty, pretty sizable negative. Finally, it, yeah, it lacked some of the energy of the original. It had, it wasn't completely, uh, any, it wasn't completely slothful, but, yeah, it, it lacked just a little bit of the energy that the original had. Overall, it basically was like someone narrating the story rather than seeing the story. <clears throat> now for the pros. The cast? Good. James Earl Jones, while sounding just a little bit tired because he's getting on in years, is still the master of Mufasa as a character. His, his presence was still highly commanding. The rest of the cast did okay. Simba as a kid, Simba as an adult, Nala as both a kid and an adult, Scar, Timon and Pumbaa, yes, Seth Rogen can't sing, but as a, a talking character, yeah, he's decent. Everyone did an okay job. They took these iconic characters and made them their own, without diminishing what was before, or what came before. As for the visuals, perfect! I mean, it looked like they had used the same technique that they used for dinosaur. Real places, CG dinosaurs, but ramped up to a level 10, 20 even. The animals, they looked real. I knew they were CG, so there was this uncanny valley thing going on with my brain, but I could swear I was looking at real animals. Real elephants, real tiger, well, not tigers, real lions, real birds, real hyenas. I mean, you look at hyenas on the Discovery Channel and Animal Planet, they don't look that threatening even when they're eating. But some of their uh, threateningness, that's not a word, from the cartoon, it was able to shine through. Especially with the trio. Actually, it was more of a duo because Bunzai and Ed, who actually could talk this time, and had serious boundary issues. Seriously, three feet of personal space, dude. They were more like Abbott and Costello, while Shenzi was like a secondary uh, antagonist. She deferred to Scar, but she had this like grudge thing with Nala over not staying put and getting eaten like she was supposed to. And 
Shenzi was actually kind of threatening. I mean, if Scar hadn't been there, she would have made a good uh, main protagonist. Honestly, the film looks much better, much more believable than the cartoon, for obvious reasons. But if the energy of the original had been maybe more heaped into this version, it would have been better than the original. But I would say, overall, the effects, voice acting, and slight tweaks to the script that didn't stray too far, but still were different, evened everything out. So this version of The Lion King is on par with the original as far as quality is concerned. If you were to show kids that are too young to remember, or were too young to remember Lion King when it first came out, or in the following years, this would be a good version to show them after you show them the original, because obviously they got to see the original first. This isn't a bad movie. If the original didn't exist, if Disney had waited to do this story, then honestly, I don't think anyone would complain. But with the original out there, it'll always be second best. Basically, if you've seen the original, you can just Put that out of your mind and enjoy the visuals, because this movie is best viewed for the visuals only, and a little bit for the voice acting, because the original can't be topped, so don't try. Just go for a nice, decent spectacle. This is Mr. J signing out and reminding you, endangered species need our help, so... Spread the awareness, because we need more lions like Simba and fewer lions like Scar. Down with poachers. <laughs>